Hey, this is Mr. Masonette, and what we're going to do in this math tutorial is we're going to practice performing a dilation on the coordinate plane. Specifically, we're going to look at two dilations, one that results in an enlargement and another that results in the original object being shrunken down. So let us go ahead and get started. All right, so we have a triangle here that we must dilate by a scale factor of two, and we must use the origin as the center of dilation. All right, let's start by showing an animation displaying a dilation of a scale factor of two, and then let's examine the resulting properties. All right, as you can see, our triangle became larger. Anytime you are dilating anything by a scale factor of anything larger than one, it's going to result in a larger proportional figure. Now, let's take a look at the corresponding vertices. Let's just call this point A, let's call this point B, and call this here point C. Now point A is currently located at positive one, positive one. So let's say that A is at one comma one, B is located at three one, and C is located at two three. All right, next what we're gonna do is locate the new position of A or A prime, B prime, and C prime. Now, if we take a look at this point right here, this is going to be our new A location. This point corresponds to this point. And if we take a look at its coordinates, it is located at positive two on the X and positive two on the Y. Now, what we should notice is that the corresponding X values and the corresponding Y values became twice as large or increased by a scale factor of two. We doubled the X and we doubled the Y to get two and two. And if we do the same thing to points B and C, we are gonna get the new locations of B prime and C prime. If we double three and double one, that would give us six two, which are the precise coordinates of B prime. If you take a look at this point here, the X value is six and the Y value is two. And for point C, we're going to double two and three, which gives us four and six, which are the correct coordinates of our new point C, four and six. Now, other things that I want to point out about dilating a figure on the coordinate plane. All one-dimensional measures are going to increase by the given scale factor. For example, if we take a look at the original triangle's base, it is a length of two. And if we take a look at the new base, it is a length of four. So the length of the base doubled. If we take a look at the height of the triangle, which is two, it doubled and became a height of four. So all corresponding sides are going to increase by a scale factor of two, and all dimensions, whether it be the base or the height, will increase by a scale factor of two. Now, something else I wanna point out is this. Let's say you were asked to compare the resulting area. Now, the area of a figure after dilation does not increase by the given scale factor. What does happen though, is you take the scale factor and square it. And that result, in this case two by two, will give you the factor increase of its area. For example, if we take a look at this smaller triangle, the base is two and the height is two. So we have a two by two triangle that we have to divide by two. The area of a triangle is base times height divided by two. And for the larger triangle, we have a base of four and a height of four. So we do four times four divided by two. So if we take the area of the first triangle, we have four divided by two, which is equal to an area of two square units. And for the larger triangle, we have 16 divided by two, which is eight. And as you can see, we go from an area of two to eight, which is a factor increase of four. So whenever dilating a figure on the coordinate plane, only the one dimensional measurements will increase by that scale factor. And whatever that scale factor is, in this case two, if you square whatever that is, the result will be the square factor increase of that shape's area. All right, let us take a look at another example. This time we are going to dilate a triangle by a scale factor of one half or 0 0.5. Now, whenever the given scale factor is less than one, that's going to result in a figure that is smaller than its original. Let us go ahead and quickly show that animation. All right, so as you can see, this triangle here was dilated by a scale factor of 0 0.5 or 1 half. 
Now let's take a look at the corresponding vertices. Let us call this point A. This is going to be our original point B. And let us call this point C. This will be our new point A, or A prime. This will be B prime and C prime. All right, so if we take a look at the original coordinates of A, it was located at positive 2, positive 2. B is located at positive 4, positive 6. And C is located at positive 8, positive 2. Now, let's say you did not have the benefit of having graphics at your side, and you were just given a set of coordinates, and you had to dilate this figure by a scale factor of 0 0.5, using the origin as the center of dilation. All you would do is cut each one of these values in half. So the new point A is going to be located at 1, 1. The new point B is going to be located at 2, 3. And point C is going to be located at 4, 1. Let us just go ahead and verify these coordinates here. So the new point A, which is right here, is at 1, 1. So that matches up. The new point B, which is right here, is at 2, 3, which is correct and C is at 4, 1, which is also correct. And if we compare their dimensions, like the base compared to the new base, we went from 6 to 3, and we went from a height of 4 to 2. So we can see that the one-dimensional measures also were dilated by a scale factor of 0.5, or 1 half. So in review, when performing a dilation on the coordinate plane, using the origin as a center of dilation, all you have to do is write down the original coordinates and multiply each value by the given scale factor, and that will tell you precisely where the new figure should be plotted.